what time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Right down there. It's time to find my Instagram. Weekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-O-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda Reacts on TikTok too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. y'all you know you've been following the netflix the tiger king everybody has everybody has the new documentary on netflix i did my review check it out posted earlier today and all the people from the documentary have been doing these interviews i seen jeff lowe on one doing one with david spade the other day and now variety's got one with joe exotic the main man's fourth husband dylan I didn't even, y'all, I didn't even know he had to, he was the fourth. I know about the three, but apparently my friend told me he's got, he had a first husband. He died at AIDS. And I said, you know what? It's that bitch Carol. That's who did it. That be Carol did it. Anyway, let's get this started. Y'all ready? Go. The phenomenon that is Tiger King. Could you believe it? It's insane. Thing. It's insane. No, because well, originally, you know, the show wasn't supposed to be about, you know, Joe being arrested or anything like that. This it was just supposed to be about like the big cat underworld, right? right. So, you know, he got arrested and like the whole story stuff. changed. It, com it became like a completely different storyline. Yeah, most of the stuff, you know, they did the interviews with like Carol and Jeff and whatnot, but it became a way bigger deal once he got arrested. And nobody expected it to be, All right. you know, as popular as it, is, as it is right now. I mean, it is literally, you can't go on Twitter. That's what. Hmm. Everyone <laughs> is talking about. I know, him. I know. So what do you, what do you think about the portrayal of everyone? Look, I think is Dylan. You know, what do you think about the portrayal of Joe? Is Dylan like um, on that? I mean, is he the, in hiding? The like why? Rebecca and Eric, what? they really portrayed everybody to be you know exactly how they are in my opinion. Oh, he's saying um, they all like that. All right. I've met everybody except for Doc Antle and uh, James Garrison. Which I've met him James or Garrison? you know um, or Carol, but. You know, they, they really tried to stay true to the story and, like, the, the information that they could find he out. He met Carol then. And, uh, he knows Ke Dylan. I, mean, I feel like it was very authentic. Um, nothing was made up. Is he visiting right now, Joe and Jay? Why is he's got the bricks behind him? How's Joe doing these days? Uh-oh. Let's tell us. We um, want to know. I mean, you know, considering where he is. Right. You know, he won't, we got a few it. days ago, he was moved to a different jail you know um it was Ooh. a medical facility in fort worth texas and i've yet to hear from him mm -hmm. so what i've been told is that he's on like a 14-day isolation because of the covid 19 you know oh. the coronavirus D joe got the corona so still waiting to hear back from him for that oh but, no you know, joe got the... The, the show was aired you know he was getting Yo, get hundreds up. and thousands of emails from fans and people oh, like, my showing goodness. their support for him you know, and, I mean, he was really excited. I even would talk to him about some of the memes that were made, <laughs> and he just laughed his laughed his butt off. It was hilarious. Oh he loved it. my goodness! And then Joe, I'm... Joe is the type of person he loves the attention. Obviously, right? we know that. You know, we any know any kind of fame or spotlight. He's that he in has quarantine, and Joe. They, greatly he's... appreciated. They better take care of him. Could you go into another area? Just the reception's a little. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Yeah. Look, we, he's yeah, yeah, choppy. He's, a, he's right now going to visit my jail. So what is he? I'm like outside right now. Oh, he's outside. Know. You gotta. Why ain't he starting to interview? Why would you go outside to have an interview? Was your house messy? You're hi he's better. hiding the cubs. Uh, yes. so are you That's what he's doing. He's hiding the tigers. We are still married. Oh, he's still married. Yeah, so what was it that? Made you marry Joe. Then he needed better you reception. Know, so like, there was <laughs> he don't have internet. He was interviews that were not shown, you know, and I guess he was stealing Doc Antle's internet did. connection, Wi-Fi. Um, That's what he was doing. But I was, I was in a really bad worse. place in my life, and okay, we gotta know, you know, Joe. He was in a bad place when they met. Get him. healthy again, and you know, get in the right mental state. Oh, you know, I was, he, I felt alone, and felt oh. like there was going to be nobody there for me. And you know, Joe made me feel like Look there was a him. reason. To be alive, I guess. Oh, and, look uh, how Joe saved Being around him. the animals and being able to take care of, you know, newborn tigers. It was right. like, uh, oh. it was like an enlightenment, kind of like an awakening right. period for me. 
and I felt like I had a purpose. Oh, he, he you know, saved had, uh, Dylan right there. At first, it wasn't a romantic relationship. Right? It, it was more of a companionship. You know, he didn't want to be alone. And, oh, you know, look, the more we know. He just, he just kind of helped me in like when I was in my darkest time. And Is I felt like sick? it was only right for me to help him in he his went darkest on the first time. Date? He had recently lost Travis. Right. Oh, and they never and, uh, left. Remember that? And I mean, I, I love Joe unconditionally and like forever. But, um, uh oh, but. Yeah, that's kind of. There's how a but. Why does he say a but? Became, you know, an item. Mm. He had What'd a but there. Yeah, actually, my family, my family actually really does like Joe. Mm -hmm. The situation is, you know, they think he was stupid for what he did. Right. Oh. And, you know, for involving himself in that and involving right. me in that. Because I was absolutely well, close to that when he got arrested. The arresting you, officer look. in Pensacola didn't even tell me why he was arrested. Well, why? Is he and, getting um, involved? What I had to find out when he went to his mediation, you know, mm -hmm. downtown. And so that was, it was, it was a, it was a shock to me for sure. But, you know, I wasn't just going to abandon him and when he needed That's right, help, Dylan. You, know? you stand by because him. Because he was there for me. Oh, so was, look at, Dylan's a right good, look at Dylan. Not judge him for the circumstance because I understood his relationship with Carol, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a very negative kind of thing. So look I mean, at, look at Dylan standing you know, by. You know, in a dark place. Stand by a man, ain't that occurred. the right? Ain't that and, the same? Um, you know, I mean, he just needed support, so oh, yeah. we're just gonna stay next to him. Right, so, come on. Um, when was the first time you saw Tiger King? The first time I saw Tiger King. Okay, so in the show. In the show, it was like the first day, right? Oh. Going into the snow at the parade, the Christmas parade. But I met him the night before, me and my cousin, who I was living with at the time in Arthur. That means he ain't answering the question. He wants to know when you watched 30, it. Which was 30, 45 minutes away from Winniewood. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the restaurant bar that he had, and he what? wanted to sing to me karaoke. He's just now. We don't, so we don't need just stories. That's the first time I met Joe. You we know, didn't ask when the first time we met him. Because the, the, the bar was literally like half a mile away He's from the zoo. He's wanting to tell his story. So he was like, hey, come back here, blah, 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 blah. So he just showed me around the house a little bit. Got to play with some baby tigers, which was right. freaking insane. Let me just tell you. <laughs> and um, yeah, after that, you forgot. that night. He's then, on something. You know, took me to the parade. He's on something. That ain't what he asked zoo. you. What do you say to people who say that Joe is taking advantage of straight guys? Oh. <laughs> I'm as gay as can be. Oh, I, I see. Love men. Right? Oh, so he was I, always. I, that ain't true. I'm sexually the attracted to females whatsoever. I mean, maybe sometimes, but like, it's, it's, <laughs> I prefer men. Okay. okay but, so he wasn't one of the straight with the comment saying, you know, does Joe take advantage of straight guys? I don't think so because I have seen and met John Finley personally, mm -hmm. and the first time I met him, he tried to hit on me. And oh, that's not what this guy would do. Oh, and he's telling. Never he's met, telling you know, the, the tea now. Here on the park, he's telling the he tea. Loved Joe unconditionally. Joe, you know, was there for him. Why does he keep saying unconditionally? I feel him like, like look, a king, you know, and. From what I hear, you know, on the show, people were like, "Oh, Travis was doing this. Travis was doing that." I have heard from multiple people that, you know, Travis loved Joe unconditionally. Like, he never wanted he to take his life. unconditionally. Life. Right. He just, he, he, he loved Joe for Joe. Oh, you know, he may not have been gay, but, I mean, in my opinion, that doesn't change the fact that you can build a connection with anybody, you know? That's true, that's true. And, um, that's all right. They had a very strong And he likes the big opinion. ones in the pool. Not from first hand, but from things that I've That's what it comes down to. He likes the big I've ones. that weren't showed in the documentary. Um, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't think Joe takes advantage of straight guys. He, what about the drug use, though? Oh, uh-oh. Uh That's what I want to know, because I think he's on something right now. Let's see. When, when I was around, there were absolutely no drugs going on. I mean, I smoke a lot of weed. Um, Ain't nothing wrong with And that. the thing is, I was addicted to, to Xanax whenever I first met oh, Joe. Oh, okay. He got you off the you know, Xanax? He never once allowed me to do that. And, oh, you know, at first when I was there, I was like, hey, you know, kids, is there any way we can get this, we can get that, because I had my, my marijuana, you know? And um, never once was was that a thing, you know? Maybe, and Joe mentioned in the, in the documentary, you know, he had 
he had experienced drugs and done all that back this, in the day. What? You gotta give but us some around, that, that All right, me. and unconditionally, we got it. We got it. We weren't around when Travis was around, but you know. Yeah, and we was, saw that John Finley's mouth. You're talking about he ain't no drugs I mean, around there. You, I don't the believe him. He said, you know, meth mouth. And, I mean, John had two teeth in his mouth. So, let's be real. And what about, what about Joe and meth? Um, you know, I, I honestly have no idea about that. You your husband. Around, you, you don't know. know what? He was you didn't ask him. wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning, come home at 10 p.m. In my opinion, he didn't have time to do drugs like that. Did, did, that's um, what meth does. It keeps you up all day. All he did was smoke a lot of cigarettes and make it through his day. And he, he was he was stressed out constantly. So, oh, I mean, he had a lot that. on his shoulders. What, what he had on his shoulders, Dylan? Tell us. What's life like for you now? So, do you live in Florida now? Oh, I don't care. Yes, I'm what, actually what, oh. living in Florida. I'm living in far west Florida. And uh, I mean, I'm. I absolutely <laughs> you had to think it. about it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good time. I have good people around me, and good support system, and my family's back home in Texas. He's not. He's. Work. I like bartend, but currently it's not happening. Uh oh. <laughs> so yeah. No, yeah. Rest. He's on. He's on quarantine. Yes. But like you're not supposed to be. Lessons? You're not supposed to be gathering in groups. In Florida. There was only six of us. What's he doing That's in Florida? Thing. That was the thing. He's still going he's after that Carol Baskin but, time. But uh -oh. now, now all of it's closed. I mean, yeah. I've just been staying home with the dog. What? So, and when was the last time he's? So, does Joe have COVID? He like, don't even. Don't know. Oh, see. No, he does. From what I know, he does not have. Why is he on the quarantines but, then, Dylan? But I know that, like, since it was in Grady County mm -hmm. Jail, um, which where he was before he got moved. Um, I wonder why he got moved because he got he went to the famous he place was transferred now. to. They said that it was a possibility that he was asking be, him the right on a 14 day right. quarantine. Got it. Yeah, come on. Um, when was the last time you spoke to him? Didn't we talk about I think, this? Oh, uh, this... Thursday or Friday. And, and is he, how, I mean, I know he's in prison, obviously, but how, how do you even explain? This, this guy, I could ask better questions than this. I mean, he's getting these letters, but. Dylan, but he you had, need to talk. What, what you don't understand Dylan's? is like he had a very large access uh, to all of the internet and the media. So and, like, he's he had, yeah. So okay. they got Netflix had, in jail? Yeah, he's had people like he watch him pictures it? and like he gets hundreds and hundreds of emails like just in the few days before he was transferred from the show dropping right. on Netflix. Um, they got the he Netflix? had received hundreds and hundreds of emails and he said he was spending all like, day. This guy put me to sleep. Know, this, we have, mm -hmm. on the computer like just going through these emails and like trying to respond to people and he had people from all over the world you know saying oh like team joe like free uh -oh, joe free joe and, i think he was treated fairly by the uh -oh, right, wait, wait. um i feel like it's a very complicated situation he um it. the prosecutor definitely allowed her witnesses to perjure themselves knowing that they were lying because there was oh. evidence given to the defense mm -hmm. you know that proved otherwise and the prosecution you know they have to have they, they all share the same evidence right God. you know and so she didn't let jeff testify on the stand for a reason because she knew he was going to perjure himself right well they and said I that in the show you ain't like telling us nothing sure. we all know up in the so, show I mean, dylan come on you know even in the show alan like uh countered himself you know he contradicted himself saying you know oh i didn't go to florida and then while he's on the stand he's like i did go to florida <laughs> so you know it's just a it's just a whole different kind of Dylan's situation right. and it's very wonder, complicated and that's kind of what this that. lawsuit that joe's draw is mostly about is that he was wrongfully accused and wrongfully acquitted um or charged my oh, this was, and, Joe must um, do all the talking in this because this guy gonna bore me the, to death. It's just it's a tough situation. I feel like it's the most interesting show been, around, the most know, interesting person around now. And, said and they gonna going have the most boring guy what, up on there. You know, was said by all of the criminals because everyone who testified were all criminals. Right? Oh, you're and telling Dylan. Records. Oh, uh, Dylan's. It was just a matter of taking <laughs> Joe down because the fish and wildlife or fish and game. You know, they had other motives. They did. So if Joe was released from prison tomorrow, what would you do? We would... We? Honestly, I don't know. What I mean, say I'd we? Pick him up. I'd go pick him up and he'd come live with me where I'm at. You know, right. and like, this is, this is our house. He's got somebody else there. That's your house. Our dog, 
you know, and I think his main goal would be to get his animals back because Mm -hmm. it was his dream and his brother's dream to have the zoo and to to do something, you know, and he spent 15 years doing it, you know, 15 plus years, and his whole life's work was just taken away from him like that, and that's just... It's got to be heartbreaking, you know, and like, mm-hmm. I mean, I was only at the zoo for like maybe six months mm-hmm. and I had so my I personal like animals and I months. lost my, my animals and like right. the, the, the babies that I had formed my bonds with and raised and they yeah, were the tigers. super tiny. Yeah. But I also raised a camel you and, the cam- they got camel and you know, other things and, um, I lost them and that's just after six months. Right. Imagine how Joe felt after 15 years. So what's next for you? Nobody Honestly, cares. I don't know. I <laughs> Nobody really, cares. I really do Nobody care know. what? D- this guy ain't asking the right questions. My life day by day because you never know what's going to happen. He didn't ask one thing about the care about two years yeah. of my life, you know? Do, do he, um, but I try to make the most do, of the situations I'm in. Did Carol Baskins kill up? Like, he, this guy hasn't even watched Tiger King I just try to with his bow tie. You know he ain't watching no Tiger King. Where's everyone else? I'm just looking up right here. Where is where is everyone else who what? who we saw? I See, know one of the things that's going around right now is they've been talking about um, Saf. Saf? See, Saf's where's Saf? Identity. He had to look that up. Um, that he don't even know Saf. Documentary um, was identifying him as a sheep. You see, Saf, Saf, you know, he identifies as male, mm-hmm. and so I feel like that should definitely be respected. Right. Um. And you know he's he's really a tough guy, and he has been he stood by Joe's side. Oh, yeah. But he asked where he's at. And most people would not return to work after having their. What? Oh no, is... no, and you know, and then even after that, he, he went and worked at going? the bar when the cook quit, and oh, then everyone Seth else at the bar? quit at the bar or restaurant. He know? served that that Walmart garbage pizza, care of it. like building stuff, like using Seth a hammer and nail. The... Like how do you even do that? You know, so, so kudos to him and. You know, we weren't we weren't very close, but I respect what is that him noise? because he. Is that the tigers in the background? He's always stood by Joseph. He's got ti- that's why he went outside. That's the most important thing to me. I heard some tigers why, in the why, background. Why, oh. Why does Joe have so many supporters around him? Do you mean like this, personally that, or? This yeah, guy asked or, the most like public, useless questions. Because Joe is he's honest to God, a really good man, and he has good beliefs. You know. Um, when people need help, he's the first person that they call, and he doesn't hesitate to say yes. He's bailed so many people out of jail. He's gotten them vehicles, and he, he gives them a job to work for. He puts no them in the trailers and puts them to work for nothing. I come home Eating all the, time, the Walmart you know, old old would Walmart be in their fridge. You know, Mark Thompson, the police officer, right? And the, the docu series. Yeah. Him and his wife would come, and I'd come home, and they'd be in both of our fridges, just raiding the fridge. You know. And okay for them, but but for them to to say negative things Ooh. about Joseph when all he's done he said, would be good for oh, them, them because Joseph. they were kissing Jeff's ass. Right. It's, it's, Joseph. it's it's it shows um, character for sure. Well, Dylan, thank you, thank you for chatting that was with it. me. You didn't ask me any questions. I'll call you. I'll text you if I have any other questions. D- oh, sure D- Dylan, do listen. Yeah, um, I know you mentioned and. Uh, you had some other phone calls going on, so uh oh, see, he need to talk to me, Dylan. Let's let's talk. Just, uh, mm-hmm. some some merch stuff, you know. Oh, some merch because stuff. because there's a lot of bootleg stuff going right. around right now. Oh, he's gonna have People his own selfish, line. So he's gonna have his own Joe Exotic this has to be line. Right for you. Does he got the right? Well, he's the husband, intense, man. Because right? I never expected, you know, right. anybody to even find out like my social media <laughs> and. Uh, like, all it is on there is my name. It says Dylan. Well, that's, <laughs> that's why I had to take the glasses off. <laughs> yeah. Just, you so, don't know. You don't you I know. know. When I yeah. saw and it. Hair, my hair is shorter, too, now. So it's like a, and it's been two years, so I've definitely oh, it's been went two from 22 years. to 24. I can say that. Awesome. Dylan, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I enjoy we'll our keep, time. Yeah, we'll keep chatting, and once the story goes up, I'll make sure you stay. Yes, and I'm glad I finally got to, you know, speak my side because, you know, everyone has their opinions on That's right, Dylan, certain huh? things. But well, tell I them, Dylan. I could, you know, give some people some relief on their claims and stuff, you know. Well, thanks all for right, trusting me right. with it. Did, wrap it up yep, with Dylan. I wrap it up. It. Thanks, ma'am. Take care. Yep, bye-bye. <sighs> so...
What did y'all think of that? I'm going to tell you number one. That Dylan seemed like the most boring. <laughs> no wonder why they had him at the end of the show. I know they just met and stuff, but yeah, he put me to sleep, him. He put me in the sleep and wanted to tell the stories, not even answering the questions. He was high. He was high. He likes his marijuana. He was high up in there. And then that bow tie guy asking the questions. I don't even think he saw the show. He didn't know Saf's name. Wonder, he didn't. He, darn, they need to get people that know the show, study the show, like me to be asking Dylan some questions. That's what it, I, we're going to have me, I'm going to ask, no, I, he put me to sleep. I need somebody better than the Dylan's there because where, where's, who, who I, I mean, Joe himself I like talking about, but I just don't think he asked the right questions and never seen this show in his life. That's all I'm saying. Well, that was interesting. Fourth husband, fourth husband right there, still with him. And now he's going to ride the gravy train up in there. Dylan's got plans. He's talk he got phone calls with merch people. He going to have his own Joe Exotic line because there's bootleg stuff. He's like, oh, no, we're ending this. We're going to trademark the Joe Exotic. He's, he's probably the, what, what is it called? The, uh, when you, the, the head of the estate, what is it? The power of the attorneys and all that. He's, he's, look, he might be boring, but. He's going he's gonna to get his money right there. <laughs> he's going to get his right there. All right, y'all. The continuation of the of the lion. Or what did I say? The li the tiger king. I was going to say the lion king. The, the continuation of the tiger kings behind the scenes with the boring, boring husband right there. Dylan's passage. What do, isn't it Dylan's exotic? Can't, can't we call him Dylan's exotic now? Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time. Mwah.